Okay, now we're going to work on using some of the selection tools. So that's how you pick part of an image to work on. It's under Making Selections folder here. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. I'm just going to click on this once and hit Download. And I'm going to tell it to open with Photoshop. And then go back to the web page again. Uncheck this one. Check this one. This is kind of where we're going with this. So again, open with Photoshop. Now, <coughs> so we got two pictures here. We're starting with this. And we're going to end up with something like this. We may not do this part, but I'll explain that later. Okay, <coughs> so what we're going to do here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how these tools work over here to help select part of an image. So this is the move tool. This moves stuff around. This is the marquee selection tool. It takes these shapes and selects part of an image with that. This lets you trace or draw around an object and then uh, select it. This lets you either select a color with the magic wand tool or to paint on an object using the quick selection tool to make a selection. Uh, this is just the crop tool. That's where you kind of trim off parts of the image you don't want. But basically we're going to work with these <coughs> basic uh, selection tools and then notice as you click on each one of these these menus change up here because they are what allow you to affect how this works how each one of these tools work so we'll be looking at that too okay so the first thing that we're going to do <coughs> is work on the carrot here and one of the easiest things to do here is go on the zoom tool which looks like this little magnifying glass over here on the left just click on it also, the letter Z for zoom will get you there on the keyboard. I'm just going to zoom in on the carrot. Now, <coughs> you can change from whatever tool you're on to the hand tool, so you can move stuff around by just holding down the space bar. Notice when I do that, it changes to the hand. And I'm just going to move this image a little bit. If that doesn't work, you can just use the scroll bars here. Just scroll the image a little bit. And then zoom in a little more just so the carrots are about the right size now get off the zoom tool okay we're going to go to the lasso which if you just hit l on your keyboard it'll select the lasso tool but well, if you click on one of these and it, uh, there's multiple tools under most of these this is indicated by this little small tiny triangle at the bottom right corner and we're going to go on the polygon lasso tool and what that does is it kind of lets you trace by connecting dots. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here at the tip of the carrot and just click and we're not worried about perfection but we're not going to go very far as we go and click and click and if you make a mistake like you click inside the carrot or you click outside the carrot just hit the delete key on your keyboard and it will remove the last point that you did. Okay so and again I'm not going to worry about perfection and neither should you we're just going to kind of trace the edge of this carrot and again if I make a mistake or I'm not happy with it I just hit the delete key for the last one or however many dots that I set, points that I set so I'm just going to continue to go around you have to be careful not to double click because if you double click it'll close the gap and if you're not where you need to be it'll be all messed up you have to start over again so I'm just going to continue to go around and when I get all the way to the end now you can close it by either touching the point you started with or if you're just close and you just hit enter on the keyboard it'll close it okay so now there is the selection of the carrot. Now what we want to do is we want to put the make a copy of this and put the carrot on its own layer so we can manipulate it. So we're going to go up to layer, new, layer via copy. And I'm on a PC so it's control J. On the Mac it'll be command J. So if you do layer via cut it'll cut the carrot out of the background and leave a blank hole but let's not do that. Let's just do layer via copy, which is Control J or Command J. 
So if I just click on this, you'll see over here I get a new layer. And if I turn this the visibility of the background layer off, you'll see that it's just the carrot sitting there by itself. Okay. Now to see the whole image again, all I have to do is I can either zoom out or I could just hit control zero, control and the letter zero, and that zooms me back out. Now what I want to be is I'm going to name this immediately so I don't get confused. I click on the name layer one and just type carrot. And then I go get the move tool, which the keyboard shortcut for the move tool is the letter V. As you can see over here, it shows you. Here's the move tool. So I'm just going to move this carrot up. I've got to be on the carrot layer, right? I just move it up onto the board. Now I'm going to switch over to what the other picture just for a second to show you the carrot's kind of at an angle here. We're not worried about it being exact, but in order to rotate it, what we're going to do is we're going to do a transform. So we're going to do Edit Free Transform. You see the keyboard shortcut Control T, Control key, tr Control T <laughs> is Free Transform, and when you do that, you get this box around it. Now, what you can do with Transform is you can make it be, you can uh, change the shape of it, you can make it larger, skinnier, fatter, whatever you can do here. If you hold down Shift, it'll get bigger and smaller, but it'll stay in proportion. Okay, so I'm going to just keep it at about the size it was. But if you also, I'm going to undo that. Uh, hold down the shift key. If you put your mouse outside of it, you could rotate it. So you're going to rotate it to about the proximate position that it is on the. I want to make it a little too fat, so I'm going to squish it down just a little bit. Sorry, I've got a cold. And once you get it in, you've got either this check. And this is get rid of what you did, or you can just hit enter to also, it's the same as the check. So I'm going to hit enter, and there, that's the picture. So comparing to the other one, at least we're in the ballpark here, which is close enough. Okay, so now we're going to select this tomato here. We're going to use a different tool. We're going to come over here and get the quick selection tool. Now the quick selection tool is actually a paintbrush. So when I click on it, it's going to be this circle. I can make the brush bigger by to the right of the P key on the keyboard is two bracket keys. The right bracket makes the brush get bigger, the left bracket makes the brush get smaller. Okay, so and right now we have a plus inside. The plus indicates that we're going to add to the selection. If you hold down the Alt or Option key on the Mac, it changes to a minus. And when it does that, you're deselecting. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller with the left bracket key. And I'm not going to go on the carrot because there's there's no nothing in this layer. So I make sure that I click back on the background layer, and I'm just going to select. And you'll notice that just one or two clicks is all it takes to select the whole tomato. Now, if you're not sure, you can hit Z and zoom in on the tomato just a little bit. And it looks like it's pretty well selected. So let's just go ahead and do it's Command J or Control J to make a new layer. And let's name it immediately so we don't get confused. Tomato. Okay. And go on the move tool, which as we saw before, there's the keyboard shortcut is the letter V. So get the move tool. And let's move the tomato over to where it is in the final image, which is about there. That's a little more off the edge than I've got it there, so put it out there and if I want to see the whole thing again remember it's control zero so that's close enough <coughs> for what we're doing right now okay so the next one is to select this plate of olives so again I'm just gonna hit Z and get on the zoom tool and just click the mouse a couple times and zoom in we'll scroll down by the edge here now I'm gonna use a different tool here I'm gonna use the marquee selection tool and we've got either the rectangular or the elliptical. So we're going to choose the elliptical. Let's make sure that's what we did. Yes. Okay. Notice it's changed to an ellipse. And we're going to start up here so we, we can't touch it going up and down. And we can't touch it going left and right. Up here at about 11 o'clock. And then we're going to click and drag down and to the right. And approximate the size of the plate. We don't have to select it exactly because we can change that later. So just, just let that go. And these little marching ants are indicating what's been selected, which obviously we're going to tighten that up. So we're going to go up here to the Select menu, 
I'm going to say um, uh, we're going to transform the selection. So when we do transform selection, we get these little control buttons. And we're just going to bring it in on this side a little bit. Get off the menu there. I'm doing this with a trackpad on my laptop, so it's a little di more difficult than doing it with a mouse. And do the same thing here. Could bring it in. Again, we're not looking for perfection here. We'll bring this down. Bring this in. Okay. So again, close enough. So again, I can hit the check or I can just hit re enter on the keyboard. And there it's selected. Now I can't do this on, on the tomato level because if I turn these two off, you'll see that I've selected nothing over here. Okay. So what I've got to do, and I'll turn these back on, is I've got to select the background layer again. And again, Control J or Command J. And we're going to call this Olives. Okay. And then again, Control Zero so we can see the whole thing. Hit V to move to the Move tool. That's the top tool, remember, if you can't remember the letter V. Grab the Olives. And let's move them over here. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's compare it to the final. A little bit lower. Let's bring them down. Okay. Up just a little. You can also use the arrow keys if it's selected to move it up as long as you're on the move tool. Now let's use another tool over here. Again, let's go to the lassos, but this time, instead of using polygon lasso, we're going to use magnetic lasso. Now, what magnetic lasso does is, again, you have to click along, but magnetic lasso looks at the object you're selecting and the background, and it kind of tries to help you by looking at the color. So let's go on Z for a second on the zoom tool and zoom in on this pepper, and then we'll go back to the magnetic lasso tool. Now, I'm just going to start here. And it's the tip, the the tip of that thing there. So notice as I go along this time, the Photoshop is helping me stay to the edge of this vegetable here by magnetizing to the difference between the color of the pepper and the color of the background. So it kind of smartly figures out what you're trying to grab onto and kind of helps you do that so you don't have to be so perfectly careful on your own. Again, if you screw up and put a couple of clicks in the wrong place, just hit delete until it comes back to you here. And then once you've done that, you can kind of continue along with what you've got. I'm just going to do, I'm doing this kind of down and dirty, not trying to be too perfect. If you go inside or outside of the thing, just hit delete. But again, don't worry too much about perfection. So as long as you get the general idea. Because there's a whole bunch of different ways to select things. And I'm going to soon show you how to put effects on things after you select them too. So right now we're just worrying about making the selections themselves. And once you get close, you can either click this last dot, which will close it. Or you can just hit enter. And that will also close it. Okay. Now remember, we're on the olives layer. I keep beating this dead horse. Saying that if I try to select anything here, watch what happens. If I say Command J, it says could not make new layer from the selection because the selected area is empty. That's because when you look, there's nothing on this layer here. So I'm going to go on the, I'm going to say OK here, and then go on the background layer, and then do Command J or Control J, and then name this layer Pepper, and hit Return to lock it in. Hit Control Zero. I'll get my move tool with the letter V, click the pepper, and bring the pepper up onto here. Okay. And now we're going to use a combination of tools to get the lettuce, because the lettuce is a very complicated um, shape. But we can take advantage of the fact that it's on a very solid background. So the first thing that we're going to do is go up here to the marquee tool and go to the rectangular marquee. Okay, and again, get where you can't touch it vertically and when you can't touch it horizontally up here at about 11 o'clock. 
And again, we're going to click and drag down and to the right until the whole thing and nothing else is the inside there. So now we've, we've selected the lettuce and its white background. Now we can go on the magic wand tool, which again selects by color. But again, if you put it inside here and you hold down the Alt key, it changes to minus. See here it's plus, and then here it's minus. And I'm going to click inside the marquee selection on the white, and it's going to get rid of all the white. Click. Oops. See, no pixels were selected because I wasn't on the background. So let's go through this again. Get on the background. Select the rectangular marquee tool. Draw a marquee around it. Get the wand tool, put it inside on the white, hold down Alt, so it changes to a minus, and click, and it gets rid of the white, selects that. Again, Control J or Command J. Let's name this Lettuce. Okay, go on the Move tool, which is the top tool over here, also the letter V. And let's put this over here. Oh, something else to notice about layers. See, lettuce is the bottom layer here. So it's going underneath all these other ones. Okay. So again here, if we go on the pepper, pepper is underneath all these other ones because it's, it's below it on the stacking layer and then all the layers, but it's on top of the lettuce. Okay. You can see that here because peppers over lettuce. So if you want to change the order of this for any reason, you can just drag this down. Like if you want, like if I put the pepper here and it's over the lettuce, let me grab the pepper here, and I want it to be underneath. All I got to do is take lettuce and drag it above pepper, or take pepper and drag it below lettuce, like this, and then you see the pepper is now behind the lettuce. Okay. Now the last step in this process is to crop the image to get rid of all the extra stuff. So we're going to go on the crop tool, which is the letter C on the keyboard. See here, just go ahead and crop it. And when you do that, the edges of the picture become active. So I'm just going to click on these little control points here. And you'll see it gives you a preview of what you're going to keep and what you're going to get rid of. So I'm just going to do this. Okay crop it down and then hit the check or just hit enter on the keyboard now we're going to save this out as a smaller JPEG file so we're going to go file export and we're going to save it for the web here or just we could just do a quick export as a PNG that's fine and when it pops up just give it a name Let's call it selections and just save it to your folder. I'm just going to put it out here on my desktop for now, but I'd save it to your hard drive folder. Okay. And that's it.